All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Once again, bringing you something completely new and different. I'm really excited for this because it's something that I just found out about a, like not even a week ago, and I'm like, I have to get this while it's brand new, still pretty cheap. You know, it's not like blown up in price or anything. You can get it at MSRP. And that is Godzilla from the Universes set. So Universes is a card game that I don't really follow. It, it pretty much is like... What if there's a bunch of different licensed animes and whatever have you, and like you can kind of build decks together using all these different licensed properties. And one of them that they just came out with is Godzilla. And these cards look amazing. So there's a catch to it though. I'm gonna open it up and show you what I mean. This is not a booster box, you'll see. Um, but also I kind of forgot that I had this laying around for the longest time I was gonna do it in a video. like. Over half a year ago, TCG Player did this promotion for universes where if you bought like $50 or $100, I forget what it was, worth of stuff on the website for one day, just one, I believe it was, it wasn't very long, they would send you a pack in the mail that is a Godzilla promo card for uni uh, universes. And it has a 10% chance, so 1 in 10 cards will be like this super rare G logo promo card, and then the other 9 will be a really you know, kind of badass looking Godzilla regardless. So I'm going to open this up at the end of the video. I never opened it. So inside is a pack that will have a booster card, a, a single card in the pack, 10% chance of pulling something extremely rare and expensive these days. So we'll hold off on that um, just to kind of like tide you guys over until the end of the video. We'll see what we get. Ah, uh, you know what? Who are we kidding? Let's open it right now. I'm just joking. The only thing I got to make sure I do though, they probably have a packing slip in here with like my information on it. So I'm probably, I will take this off camera. Uh, actually right now probably, before I dent this card. So that I don't mistakenly reveal anything just in case. Um, oh, so here's a little insert. So it doesn't look like they actually have any, yeah, no personal information, we're good. Okay, so this is what they put in there. TCG Player X Universes. I, you know, I should have really been paying attention. I should have known, like, hey, they're probably doing a promo for an upcoming Godzilla trading card game, and I just kind of forgot and never paid attention. So it says, thanks for participating. We know this exclusive Godzilla Day, Godzilla Minus One promo card from Universes will make a great addition to your CCG collection. So, pretty cool. Do you want more promos? Okay. And then inside, they have the pack, and I really hope because this thing was apparently not protected much at all. It's kind of just sitting in here like that, and this went through the mail. I really hope that it's in good condition. So it's a single card in here. And these are apparently really hard to get now, so we're gonna open this up and see what we got. If it's a logo that looks just like this, that is the one in 10 card, and it's really, really expensive and hard to get. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a full art of Godzilla, and it looks really cool regardless. So we're just going to carefully remove this and see which one we got. No way. Oh my god, I got it. There's no way. Holy smokes. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's the G-Lo card. Right? I'm not going crazy here, am I? Isn't that the 1 in 10? Oh my god, I have to look this up. Hold on. Godzilla in universes. That's it. Holy crap. The G logo. This is on TCG Player right now. Um, this is selling for the last two sold for $300 and the ones that are up there now are like 400. This is crazy. Oh my God, I gotta get this thing graded. How's the condition? Condition's looking good. Thankfully they like put this behind it to help protect it a bit. I can't believe I got it. Only one in 10 packs have this. People sell the pack itself for, people are buying the pack itself for between like 90 and a hundred dollars it looks like like 75 to so people are paying 75 to 100 just at a shot at getting this card 10 percent chance i'm not gonna lie though i'm gonna have to pick up the other godzilla card because it actually looks amazing let me get a sleeve for this oh man what a what a start to this video oh i 
forgot to I forgot to grab sleeves. Hold on, I just gotta reach over here. Just get a few of them for now. Wow. I can't believe I just pulled that. I, I like had to do a double take because I'm like, wait, is that I can't believe I just hit a one in ten. I had to make sure that I wasn't mixing it up with the other card. I'm actually going to sleeve this too. Man, okay, well that's our good luck charm. Because we're going to need it. Because I'm going to show you guys what we're opening next. Let's just move this over to the background here. And my luck lately with card games has just been incredible. So here's the deal. This is not a booster box. This is actually um, a box of four starter decks. So they don't sell packs individually for this and they don't sell booster boxes. The only way you can get packs and cards is by buying starter decks. So here's the thing. Each starter deck comes with a single pack and that single pack has a chance at alternate arts that are really, really sought after like Godzilla's and Mothra's and King Ghidorah's and stuff like that. Um, Actually, I have a list pulled up here just to like know what ones we're really looking for. Um, so yeah, there's a Godzilla. There's a Mecha Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mecha Godzilla, Kiryu. We got a Mothra. We got a Rodan. And then after that, everything else kind of like starts to fall in price a bit. But I wanted to buy a display box like this because it, I just felt a little bit safer getting a fresh display box rather than buying these individually on eBay or TCG Player or whatever. So what we're going to do is, man, these cards are looking badass already. We are going to open each one of these starter decks. So the deck itself, it will always be the same cards. Wow, this is super fancy packaging. I'm liking this a lot. Includes one collector's booster pack, six random alt art or foil cards to enhance your deck. So I'm not sure on the pull rates. I probably should have checked this before starting the video, but I, I can't remember if there's like a guaranteed alt art. I don't know if you're probably not guaranteed an alt art. But you're guaranteed like different foil versions of the cards that are in the starter deck. So we'll go through each deck, the Godzilla and the King Ghidorah deck, and we will do that for the first two starter decks. And then the other two starter decks, we're going to skip obviously going through this, the starter deck itself because we already know what cards are in there. And instead we will opt to just open the collector's pack that came in there. So really, if you're buying these starter decks, say it's, you know, $25, $30 a starter deck. So you're getting the deck and then you're getting a single pack with six cards. And that is the only way to get these variants. Now, uh, as of making this video, I will say that Amazon does have these starter decks in stock for, a, you know, not too bad price. I think 35 bucks. And they do Amazon Prime shipping, so like next day shipping. So if you're looking to get these pretty quick and you use Amazon, I will put the link in the description. Um, just a heads up, it will be an affiliate link. So if you click that link, you know, I'll earn a small commission. But it's a cool way to support the channel if you're into that. Otherwise, you can hunt around, check TCG Player. But just be careful because I don't know if people are able to figure out, like, uh, is there a guaranteed, like, alt art per starter deck case and do they open them until they get the alt art and then they just sell off the excess starter decks i don't know we'll find out but i just didn't trust it so i was like let me just buy my own you know display case so let's be careful opening this up um so yeah obviously on amazon it's probably going to be individual decks as well but it seems to be direct from distributor as of right now it'll probably change over time okay this is going to be a little tricky to to open up here Sometimes these cellophane wraps on these starter decks are like so closely sealed that it's just hard to peel this off without hurting the cards. Okay, there we go. So, like I said, everything in here is set in stone. And then we're going to open the packs after we check these decks out. Let's also put this into view for good luck. Alright, so these cards look fantastic. Let's check this out. Here's the Hollow Godzilla right on the front. All of these seem to be hollow at the start here. Man. Wow, these are some crazy Godzilla art. So obviously it being a deck that you're meant to play with, they're going to give you doubles of the cards. But there are cards in here where you can get like alternate foil versions. Like So this card here, for example, all the cards 
When we open our collector's packs, there will be alternate hollow patterns that you can pull for these. Um, man, I'd be interested in trying to play this game, though. Like, Godzilla versus Ghidorah deck. You can blend the cards together. So I'm assuming these cards here that are normally no, non hollow are ones that you can probably get the hollows in when you open your collector's packs, but... I'm not sure if I'm going to be going for the full set. I'm just kind of opening this now to see how I feel about it. Impressions are really strong at first, though. These are... Especially the full arts are pretty amazing looking. But you can blend the other universes cards in with the um, the Godzilla cards. So like you can have some of their other anime cards like teaming up with the Godzilla. That's kind of how it works. I will tell you I have no interest in the other universes cards. I'm not really into anime much these days. I just don't really have time to keep up with watching any of it. So I'm not, not really interested in their other offerings. I'm in this completely just for Godzilla. For more of a collectability kind of thing. Because I am a big Godzilla fan. I, I've been a fan of Godzilla since my childhood. Not so much keeping up with it these days, but like I was really into it as a kid. Had a lot of the figures and everything. So that was the Godzilla deck. Let's check out the King Ghidorah deck really quickly. Actually, you know, before we do that, let me just open this so you guys can see what I'm talking about, right? Because it will take a little bit to open that and go through the deck. Let's just preview this now for those of you that maybe don't want to watch like the full video, right? Just so you can get an idea of what you're expecting here. So there are some really sought after cards you can get from this. The alt arts that I read off before, like the Godzilla one, is a multi hundred dollar card. People are wanting like $300 for that right now. For Godzilla King of the Monsters alternate art. We got a Mecha Godzilla that's like 200. King Dora is like 200. Um, Kiryu is like 200 as well. Mothra like 170. Rodan like 150. Um, but yeah, there's some really sought after alt arts for the main characters, the main kaijus. All right, so as we can see here, so here is the Mothra. Let me actually see if, let me, let me just find that card in the normal deck real quick so you can see the difference and what to expect from that. So where is this Mothra? It's probably one of these cards back here. Just so you guys can see what you're getting into. with opening these collector's packs. Okay, so here it is. So here's the normal card, right? So this is what everybody gets in their starter deck. But then you can pull a hollow version, which looks very similar to the hollows that they were giving you in Star Wars Unlimited as a reference, sort of like a wave foil. They look nice. The non foil it's like nothing crazy, but they look nice, right? Like I wouldn't go out of my way to try and put together like a full master set probably of those. I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyway, so you're going to get stuff like that. Hollow versions of cards that are normally not hollow. All right, I think the fourth card back is the full art. We're not going to do any pack tricks. We're just going to see what we get. Tough skin. Looks like we got a full art coming up here. We've got Relentless Challenger and City Rampage. Okay, so we didn't get like one of the, the crazy sought after um, alternate arts in this. Oh, oh no, okay, that's not a full art. So yeah, it looks like, okay, so they have, wow, they have all variants. So these ones in the back seem to be, no, that's still a wave foil, okay. I thought it was like a cold foil. So you get one, two, three wave foils. You get a alt art full art of some sort in the middle as the fourth card is the hit. So I, if I remember right watching one video on this, I think it is always going to be a full art of some type in the middle. And it looks really good. It's kind of like a cold foil spot foil, really pretty. Um, so City Rampage is not going to be one of the more expensive ones. Some of these, as I've seen, can get crazy. Okay, this one's actually... This is actually a $30 card. Last sold 31 and then everybody else is trying to get 40 for this. This is this alt art is more expensive than, than the entire starter deck, so it seems like it's a, a good chance at actually getting value back when you're opening these uh, alt arts. Not all of them are going to give you value back. There's some that are like 10 bucks. People probably like that one because it's Godzilla and Mothra. So that gives you an idea, right? Let's put that off to the side. And we'll open up, you know, the other three collector's packs. But for now, let's just go through the King Ghidorah starter deck really quickly. Uh, i got to tear that open to keep this sealed pretty well. don't want this video to be too long, you know. 
but I do like to take my time and appreciate the things I'm opening. Oh, here's a checklist I think they give you in here that'll show you just for reference, like little collector's things. So you can see all the cards. Let me just show you. Do they show you the, the big hit cards in here? Um, let's see. They do. So here's the alt arts. Here's the big one, the Godzilla, Mothra. So these these ones up here are really what we're looking for. King Ghidorah looks amazing. These top cards in the top row, six of them, are the big chase cards. So kind of cool they got the little book to show you. Let's get this off the table real quick. Let's take a look through here. I think in the future if I get any more of these, I will probably just take the packs out ahead of time and just do the collector's pack so we're not sitting here trying to open up these starter deck boxes. These will look great in a binder though. And the master set for this doesn't seem too hard to accomplish. Obviously you're probably gonna have to buy quite a few singles, especially maybe those crazy alt arts, but like getting a full master set seems very achievable. Whether or not the price of these starter decks and collector's packs are gonna go up or down or the singles are gonna go up or down. I don't know, I mean, that does seem kind of crazy. If I remember right, I counted there's 18 alt arts, I believe. I don't know if it's equal distribution. So is it really like a one in three shot of getting one of the crazy alt arts? I don't know. Wow, that Ghidorah looks so crazy. The art is so good. Awesome. It's like a really nice, like hyper real, but also cartoonish kind of look at the same time. That looks so good. And the lightning being foiled, awesome. Wow. Impressive. These cards look good. It almost makes me wish that this wasn't just like a one-off spin-off set. Oh, this one's great. Tried Gravity Beam. It, it kind of makes me wish that this was like a permanent Godzilla trading card game. I'd be so into it. But then again, I mean, they could, you never know, they could bring out a set too. Oh, that one's crazy. Supersonic Flight. They got some cool, like, like look at what they do with the text here. It's like a comic book. It's kind of cool. And this is all original art, I think, that they did. Oh, that, and yeah, give me that in my collector's pack. So the cards that you get in the collector's pack can be cards from either deck. So it's not like the collector's pack in the Ghidorah deck is going to be guaranteed to be um, foil cards from the Ghidorah deck. It can be from either deck, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how this game plays. Really interested. If any of you pick these sturdy decks up and you're looking to like test it out one night and play Godzilla versus Ghidorah. Don't use any other cards from universes. I just want to test these out and see how it goes. All right, let's open this up and then we'll crack open the other, the last two boxes and take the packs out and see what we got inside. If you guys are enjoying the video, by the way, be sure to leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've opened these up and what you're thinking about it. I think I got to open this up with a scissor. I don't want to destroy what is inside here. These pull tab packs sometimes can be kind of rough. All right. Do we want to do a pack trick for this? So it would be one, two, three, four to the back. So our hit card is in the back now. All right. Smashing stomp. Oh, we got it. I said, give me that in the foil and they gave it to me. Focused Gravity Beam. We got Kaiju Clash. Six cards, right? So I think we got a couple more. Unmatched Power. Battle for Dominance. And our full art is Death from Above. It's not the Rodan that we were looking for, but I will say I think I actually prefer this art more than the actual alt art one that's like $150. Uh, Death from Above doesn't look like it's kind of fallen into any of the higher tier sought after ones. I guess Rodan is kind of like low tier, low tier for desirability as much as I love Rodan. Uh, this is a $4 card. So that gives you a good idea of the variance, right? Like some of them are much more sought after and rare than others, apparently. All right. So let's just bust these other ones open real quick. Take the packs out. 
leave the decks in. Um, I'm sure having multiple decks is not the worst thing either because right, if you want multiples of that full art Godzilla or Ghidorah on the front, you're going to have to open up multiple of these for a playset. And they really seal these boxes. Holy smokes. And these are brand new, right? So, like, not hard to get. Like I said, you can probably find them in maybe some of your local game stores. Um, like I said, the link to Amazon, I'll have it in the description of the video. So you can check it out there if you're more of an Amazon person. But check out your, your LGSs first, right? You always want to support an LGS before buying on Amazon. So go to your LGS first. Make sure they don't carry it. If they carry this kind of thing. All right, here we go. Final two packs. One, two, three, four to the back. Hopefully we can pull at least one crazy altar. We got Destructive Slam, Multiple Bites, Stoppable Force, Quick Arrival, Falling Crush, and History's Greatest Monster. Wow, I mean, not one of the like huge ones once again, but man, does that look crazy. Let me see what this one is, kind of gauge what this one goes for. It looks like it would be one of the more desirable ones for sure. Uh, yep, this is one of the mid-tier ones. This is a last sale price, $31. So here's, well, there's some on there a little bit cheaper now for near mint, like 25, 25 to 30. That's the same price as the starter deck. So it's kind of like some of these alt arts really have some good value. That's why I'm not sure if they'll hold, right? Like, will they hold? I guess most people are opening these just simply to get that one alt art hit, and they don't, it's, it seems pretty easy to probably put together a full set of the other normal holo cards. Maybe if you're putting together a full play set, that's different because it looks like play set is like, what, three or four cards? All right, final pack here. Last chance to get the Godzilla, the Mothra, King Ghidorah, something, let's see. Got Overwhelming Gravity Beam, Mega Burst, Flying Zap, Evasive Maneuver, Right, and our full art, it looks like it might be a good one. I don't know, I have a good feeling. Full art is. <laughs> it's probably the worst one you can get. Supersonic Flight with what looks like Rodan just doing a little scree off into the distance. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a little afraid to even check what this one goes for. Oh, actually, wow, well, okay, this one's a little bit more than I thought. I'm surprised this costs more than the Rodan. Maybe it's just a good card to play with. This is a $10 to $14 card uh, with some available for eight bucks. So, hey, I mean, it could have been worse, right? We got some really cool looking cards. Uh, we got a couple that were in the $25 to $30 range, so I'm not gonna complain about that. But I think the highlight of this video is the fact that I've had this sitting around now forever, just sealed in that envelope, and I opened up the one in 10 promo card from TCG Player. Absolutely awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what to expect from this Godzilla Universe's trading card game. Obviously, you're kind of looking at like, you know, a pretty expensive collector's premium pack if you're just opening it for the single collector's pack inside of the booster boxes. But picking yourself up one of each deck and seeing if you can pull something crazy from the packs, it's maybe worth it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.